I see myself degraded constantly in the media. Music, movies, and magazines. Something to be objectified. Viewed like an animal in a zoo. The Venus Hottentrot, still alive and well in 2016. My gifts are not respected until someone else takes them. People stealing, appropriating, all the characteristics of me with no credit given. And I'm supposed to feel flattered instead of robbed. When these same outlets that critiqued my naturally given curvaceous backside, kinky hair, tan skin, now revere all of my characteristics on someone who wants to look like me, but doesn't know the history of what it means to be me. Further objectifying me in the world where I am told that it is biologically impossible to be attracted to me. Where I am twice as likely to die at the hands of a lover. Where I am three times as likely to be harassed on social media. And where I am far more likely to be the victim of sexual assault, but three times less likely to report it because I am devalued so. No worth in my body, no need to protect it, no need to cherish it. You see it as something you own. Something you can hug when you're feeling lonely, kiss when you're horny, punch when you're angry, and rape when you're powerless. I'm just a prop to you. To prove your manhood, your status, your worth, and have no desires, needs, and dreams of my own, merely at your service. Impervious to pain, because I'm just so strong. And then when I dare to express my justifiable frustration, rage, sadness, about all of the crimes against me, I'm dismissed as angry. And yet again, have my range of emotions stolen from me. Because I'm not entitled to have feelings that other human beings are free to express whenever they like. And with all of this pressure bearing down on me, the weight of the threat of violence pressing against my neck and the weight of shame pushing me down until I can rise no more to defeat the voices that have taught me shame, hatred, all the pressure, pressure bearing down on me until I'm a diamond, a jewel that dances in the sun, catching everyone's eye, not apologizing for glistening in the light of my soul or relishing the beauty in my cut. I am precious, delicate, fragile, vulnerable to damage, nicks, and scrapes, and all the cheap imitations that you make of me proves that I am loved. Desired, respected, you'll never find a gem quite like me. I am real, I am lovable, I am black, and I am beautiful.